There are many continuous integration tools in the market like Bamboo, TeamCity and lots more. But Jenkins is one of the most popular open source CI tool which is widely used in the industry. Welcome to DevOps video series from K21 Academy. Today we are going to look at Jenkins. We will cover topics like introduction to Jenkins, prerequisites of Jenkins and various concepts like CI CD and security. Before we move ahead, I would like to recommend our previous video on Git, which covered its workflow and advantages. You can also check out our blog on the same by going on to k21academy.com slash devops19. Now let's hear from an expert on Jenkins. Continuous integration is nothing but process of converting your source code into a compilation process so that it generates an artifacts. So that is called as a continuous integration. And there are a variety of tools that has been designed for this continuous integration such as Jenkins, Azure DevOps, TeamCity and uh, Bamboo and a lot of other tools are available in the market in which the most famous one is Jenkins. Why we are going to see that in this session. Jenkins is a software that allows continuous integration. Okay, and as I was mentioning to you about continuous integration is nothing but it is a development practice that requires developers to integrate code and shared repository at a regular intervals. It's just a plain definition, but to help you understand, continuous integration is nothing but converting your source code into an artifacts that is continuous integration. And uh, to download Jenkins, uh, you have to go to the official website called jenkins-ci.org that I will explain you on the next lessons and uh, depending upon your OS you have to go there and if you are using in Windows OS you can download the war file and then you can use this command java and jar jenkins.war to start the Jenkins or there is another way to even download an exe file and then you can run it or if you are using a Mac system you can install Jenkins via brew if you are actually using a Linux systems you can install Jenkins via m command or if you are using an Ubuntu systems you can install Jenkins via apt there are multiple ways that I'll show you across okay and uh, once after your installation is completed and if you are not getting any errors you are able to see Jenkins up and running and by default Jenkins takes up the port of 8080 suppose if you are already running something on your 8080 then you can change the port number of Jenkins from the settings.xml of the Jenkins okay depending upon your free port that is available this is the Jenkins introduction and there are certain pre-requests to have Jenkins running on your system first mandatory thing is like java has to be there because jenkins is built over java so java latest version has to be installed on your machine if not jenkins will not run the second is like if suppose you wanted to deploy some applications on a web server or application server then depending on that your apache tomcat or iis has to be installed on your machine and obviously you should have a very good internet connectivity and then you should have at least one gb of free space that's because the number of jobs that runs on the jenkins will be stored on your mission so you should have free spaces to have the jobs stored on your mission and then if you are going to run any java applications that is actually using ant or maven you have to install that if suppose you are actually using a node.js application then npm and node has to be installed on your mission if you are actually running any groovy applications then the groovy has to be installed so depending upon your application depending upon your build system you have to install that software on your particular mission and if you are using gradle then obviously you have to install gradle and you have to set the environment variables accordingly okay these are all just the prerequisites to run the particular software and what are all the different jenkins concept available if you see on O on the overall Jenkins part, there are multiple concepts available or multiple lessons that you need to learn on Jenkins. First is a basic configurations and overview. Okay, so like we'll just show you like what is Jenkins overview, how it is, what are all the different menu options available and other things. The next is pipeline integration. So Jenkins has two concepts. One is pipeline as code, another one is graphical user interface, or we call it as freestyle job depending upon your uh, organization depending upon your company you can use any projects the next is ci cd implementation how do you do a basic ci cd using jenkins and then how do you do a backup and restore of the jobs for example if i need to back up my jenkins job and then i need to restore it in some other missions i can even do that and then how to reset and passwords for a users how do you do a jenkins upgrade and what are all the different tools available like Jira and Git, Docker and other things? How do you integrate it as part of Jenkins? And how do you create users? How do you create a groups? How do you create roles? And how do you integrate an LDAP systems into Jenkins? These are all management concepts of Jenkins. 
and how do you configure a master and a slave in a Jenkins? Uh, that's because like for example whenever you install a Jenkins by default master is getting installed but if I wanted to run Jenkins on some other mission then you need to have the slave or a client installed on that mission and you need to connect between the master and the slave that is a master and slave concept of Jenkins and then how do you calculate the metrics on the Jenkins like how do I calculate mean time to recovery mean time to build how many builds have happened how many successful how many failed how can I calculate that and at last Jenkins security how do I make sure like uh, my, my Jenkins are secure how do I make sure like I mean I'm, I'm actually implementing this role based access control and everything on my Jenkins so those are all the different concepts that is available on Jenkins so that was our DevOps expert trainer talking about Jenkins you can also check out our blog on Jenkins which covers overview and installation prerequisite by visiting k21academy.com slash DevOps 20 Jenkins and CICD with Jenkins is part of our DevOps Foundation training program, which covers all these topics in detail. If you are not yet DevOps certified and would like to see what to expect in the exam or how to prepare for it, I would like to invite you for a free 90-minute session with DevOps Institute as well as Microsoft Certified Expert Trainer. We'll talk about the DevOps Foundation course. Additionally, we'll show live demo of website deployment on Docker using Jenkins CICD and talk about the different DevOps tools. We'll also share information about the certification exam. So you can register for free by going on to this URL, k21academy.com slash devops02. In our next video, we are going to look at Ansible. We'll cover topics like playbooks, galaxy, and tower. So I'll see you next week. Please click on the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our upcoming video.